Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your love forecast reading for March. We're going to uh, tap into the love, love forecast and see what is uh, coming up in love for the signs. You guys, thank you so much for your um, comments and your love and support that you continue to give to the channel. You guys, remember to like and share for me. I sure would appreciate that. When you, every time you give a thumbs up, it helps push the reading out just a little far further for me. And I do appreciate those who continue to provide support in that manner. Now, for a little bit about today's reading, you can apply it to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Okay? Hello to our cross watchers. So, if this reading does not resonate, make sure you tap into those other signs. Follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Remember, we have a Patreon where you'll get a chance to see all of the extendeds, and there will be an extended for today's readings. Um, and that link can be found below as well. Don't forget, I do private readings. And you guys, I've been going live, okay? I have been going live, but I don't have a set time that I go live because my schedule does not allow me to have a set time. So, if you want to tap into whenever I go live, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, so every time that I go live, you will be notified. Don't forget when I go live, you, you get the opportunity to ask questions, and I'll answer them right there on the spot. So, that is so, so, so important. And I think I have uh, said all the announcements, so let's finish um, shuffling. Make sure you check out all the readings that I have already done. Twin Flame Soulmate readings have been done. I've been going live. Got your general readings out. And also don't forget about setting your intentions for the new moon and the full moons. All of those can be found on my playlist. All right, I am ready to get started. You guys, I'm not going in a specific order now. I'm going in the order of views. So check out to see when your sign is coming up next. Until next time, bye-bye. Well, until next time, into your new reading. <laughs> your reading is coming up right now. <laughs> Hello to my Capricorns. Okay, my Capricorns, you guys came in third for the last love forecast. And so now your reading is number three. All right, so let's just get right into it to see what is going on for the love forecast for you for March. And also there will be an extended on this. That link can be found below on our Patreon. All right, so let's just get right into it. Let's see what is going on. Our Capricorns, try to get a clean shuffle out here. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal messages need to come forth for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. Your cards keep wanting to flip over. So that means we got a lot of activity going on. A lot of nervous or exciting energy. First card out will be for you. I'll place that right here. Next card out for your partner will go there. Keep in mind, these energies will flip-flop. Here it goes. I knew those cards were going to fall quickly. There it is right there. I could tell by how I was shuffling them that uh, it was not going to take long. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, the Bible created the universal messages need to go forth. The sign of Capricorn as it relates to the love forecast for March 2020. Wow. Okay. What message? Me? Wow. Oh my goodness. A lot is coming forth and wanting to be said, Capricorns. All right. So let's see um, what is going forth. We'll put those right there. Okay. Let's get these in order. And what's being said here. First card is, ooh, deception and envy. All right, so we can already, we're already setting the stage for what's happening here. Deception and envy is coming forth, okay? Partnerships and alliances. So there is some deception, some envy that could be going forth. Uh, for some of you, this is in a business relationship. For some of you, this is your, your romantic partner. 
Um, with this partnership, I'm seeing family member, a family member relationship where someone has deceived you or somebody is very envious or both. Okay. So there's something going on or that's you Capricorn. But I feel like for the majority of you, this is being done to you. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah, because you realize that somebody has been deceptive. Somebody may be jealous in some type of partnership or alliance that you have. And you realize now how they've been treating you and you know that you would have done things differently. It's easier to just stay away right now. Yeah, somebody's clearly just staying away. And I told you, I could tell by the way the cards were shuffling that this was something serious that was going forth. You feel like home to me. So what this could be meaning is that this person has has tricked you to the point that you, you really felt safe with them. You really self felt in a, a space that uh, they were going to take care of you, that you were going to be all right, that they would not harm you. And that's just the opposite of what happened. That's just the opposite. All right. So this person over here, spiritual union. So with this person, I feel like, I don't know why I keep saying this and I'm feeling this, whoever is in this situation over here, I don't feel like it's the person that you're involved with. I feel like it's somebody external. So again, it could be like in a business relationship. That's the first person that keeps coming in my mind. And then I'm saying a family relationship, maybe a cousin, sister, sibling, brother. I don't know. It's, it's a family relationship where you've been deceived and hurt. And it's, it's, it's a foundation of jealousy, okay? But over here, you have spiritual union. My mind and heart always comes back to you. Yeah, see, this person is on your side. This person that you are uh, romantically and uh, possibly tied to, they understand the situation and they feel like they have a spiritual union with you or this is what could be coming in for you. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Yeah, somebody on this side, they've been hurt, but I feel like not from you. I feel like this is also external. And uh, but you have a spiritual union with someone, okay? So you got you have a lot of different dynamics that's coming on that's going on right here. You you're in a situation again, it's a business family member situation, something going on where deception has taken place. Envy, you know you would have made different choices, but this person over here, the person that you're romantically tied to, you have feelings for, or could be coming in for you, um, they too have some external problems that they're dealing with as well. Wow, I got a lot. I could tell by the stuff that it's a lot going on, on here. So some of you may want to consider doing a private reading to try to kind of look more in specifics of this. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to the love for Pastor March 2021? messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Okay. What messages need to go forth? Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, somebody's walked away. There it is right there. Oh, God, you got two tens back to back. Oh, my goodness. I told you. I know something. Whew, good Lord. All right, so already that is your um, angel number that's coming through. 1010, definitely coming through loud and clear. Loud and clear it's coming through. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is coming through. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? But do keep in mind, it could be any sign and just taking on the energy of that sign, okay? You have the Empress in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups um, in reverse. And your overarching energy is... The Eight of Cups. So what is this saying? Somebody uh, feels abandoned, okay? Or somebody felt like they just, they're walking away from something. They were treating, they're moving on from a situation that they, they made up their mind. They're just simply not dealing with anymore. 
They're not dealing with it anymore. So they're walking away again from a situation or from someone. Okay. Um, is this a spiritual union that you're walking away from? I still don't feel like it is. I, I feel like this is an external situation that you've decided you're walking away from. Let me just say this. If this is a romantic relationship over here, like I keep saying before, this is coming in for you. This is coming in for you, but this person has, you know, their own stuff that they're dealing with. So you got to, again, you have to see how this is resonating, but clearly whatever's happening on this side, deception, jealousy, and it's from a partnership. So if this is a relationship that you're in right now, this is coming in for you. Okay. So now we have the Empress in reverse here. Now this could represent someone who possibly had a miscarriage, uh, somebody who can't get pregnant, um, this could represent someone who possesses a threat um, in a relationship. Okay, not saying specifically who, but this definitely means jealousy. Definitely, definitely means jealousy. Um, it could represent um, a fight with somebody's mother. Okay, or mother could have something specifically to do with this where the mother is unhappy um, about what is happening right here. This is somebody possibly um, not having good parenting skills. Okay. Um, this is somebody who needs to be more understanding in a situation, more supporting, no, more supportive, more nurturing, okay? Um, this could represent someone who is simply just have neglected someone in a relationship. You know, there's no passion, no, no stamina, nothing was going forth. And then that being coupled with the Ace of, Ace of Wands in reverse, that's exactly what that is. Having no passion, no desire to even fix a situation and this is somebody, this is, this was a complete and painful end for someone. They were not inspired to do anything to correct the situation. They just, they just allowed this ending to happen because it was too many burdens that they were carrying for someone. Okay. There was, it was too many burdens that they were carrying in this relationship. And so after looking at all of these burdens with this four of cup, four of cups in reverse, this is somebody that said, you know what? I am suddenly aware of what's really going on in this situation. And now I'm just, I'm choosing to be happy. And if that means exactly what we see here, me walking away from this situation, then that's what I'm willing to do. And that's exactly what took place. Somebody was willing to just simply walk away. Okay. All right, you guys, we're going to go into the extended now. And if you want to join me for the extended, that link can be found below. But let's just look a little further into pulling these layers off and get some specifics, okay? All right, if this is where we depart, thank you so much for joining. If not, uh, if you're meeting me on the other side, that link can be found below. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Until next time, bye-bye.